Hey Pisces, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, guys, so this is going to be your mid-month spread from July 15th to August 15th. And um, thank you guys so much for being patient. I'm in the middle of moving house, so I'm just trying to get everything done. So I'm doing all the, um, well, I'm going to try to finish all the readings today for the, well, for the mid-month just so that I can focus on personal readings. So if you guys do need a personal reading, I will be really uh, spending a lot of time doing so in the next few days because I know towards the end of the week next week, I am going to be a lot more busy, so it'll take a little bit longer to get the readings. But I do thank you guys for understanding. All right, so let's see what is going on with my wonderful Pisces crew. What is going on in your lives from July 15th to August 15th? It's so beautiful today. I'm like in such a light, good mood. So, <sighs> sharing it with you guys. So, let's do this. Okay, guys. All right, let's see what is going on. Okay. Okay, guys, so the energy for this reading, hey, is a wheel of fortune, all right? Things going your way, things happening, um, things turning for you, things happening in a good way, something that you may have been working hard on, okay? This might have to do with a move. This might have to do with um, maybe a new car, new vehicle that you're trying to buy, but just something that involves movement, something that's happening fast, something you've been working on, and it's coming to fruition. It's happening the way you want it to. All right, so that's really nice, guys. So let's get into your reading and see what's going on. All right, so the first card you guys have for your past is a King of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, with the King of Pentacles, uh, King of Pentacles in reverse, there's kind of like this, this bored feeling in a sense. You know, somebody who's in a situation simply because they feel the need to be. So it could be, you know, you being in a relationship that you know has served this purpose, but you're still there. You being at a job that you hate, but you know that you know it's gonna pay the bills. So that sort of thing. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Okay, so it's like something that you were born with, something that possibly made you unhappy. You guys could have been dealing with an Earth energy. And that person could have just completely switched up and changed on you. And it's like you're looking at the situation, and you're like, you know what, this, this no longer is for me. So let's see. Yeah, just something that was unbalanced in the past. Um, so whether you were in something that you just really didn't want to be in, or maybe somebody else was dealing with you and they didn't fully want to be there and they were unhappy and there's just an imbalance. So maybe you were giving too much or you were giving not enough, but let's see how this plays out. All right, so the next card you guys have is the Page of Cups. All right, so messages of love, good things coming in. Something, you know, messages that are making you feel better about maybe any past losses or pains that you have felt. And then the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So there could have been someone in your past that, you know, wasn't 100% reliable. Something that made you feel burdened. And it's kind of like you're walking away from that now. There are messages coming in of love. There's um, healing coming in. And you're kind of just moving away from that unreliable energy. The next card you have is the Empress, okay? So you guys are um, in a place of manifestation. You guys are literally birthing something new. So for some of you, it could be a literal pregnancy or birth that's happening. But this is just, you know, she's somebody who rolls her sleeves up and she just gets things moving. So what is this new thing happening for you guys? Wow, King of Pentacles again, all right? So you guys definitely could have an earth energy around you, but... You know, you're creating something that's going to be stable, but something with longevity, something that's going to be standing strong. Okay? You might be questioning whether or not you're able to do this, but the most important part is that you're doing it. When you want to do something, don't worry about the fear of doing it. Just jump. Go ahead. Go for it. Do your research and then do it. Okay? Now, in your present moment, you guys have the Nine of Cups. So the energies are slowly progressing and getting much better, guys. So that's awesome. So you're satisfied in your life right now. There's something, you know, that's making you feel good. Now, the only thing um, bad that can come with the Nine of Cups is just overindulgence. Because it's just like this one dude. And so you don't need all of that. You're good with the one in your hand. But he has a lot. So um, overall, though, it's a really good feeling. It's being abundant, having more than what's needed, and, you know, not stressing life. Okay? Yeah. 
Ten of Pentacles. So you guys could be doing well in terms of money. You could, you know, have a few stacks in the bank right now. But there's something here that's making you undecided. There's something that's making you happy. There's something that's making you abundant, but you're questioning it. And it's funny, guys, because this is right under the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Where it's like, uh, you know, being in a situation just because you have to be. So maybe the situation isn't the worst thing in the world, but maybe you might be happy elsewhere. Maybe you're just thinking about that. Okay? There's a sense of frustration. Alright? So it's like, you seem to be good. You seem to be making good money. Um, but you're frustrated about something. Despite all the good that's happening, you're frustrated. Well, so let's see how this plays out. Two of Pentacles, okay? So you got the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. There's definitely a decision that's weighing heavy on you guys right now. Um, you're not sure which way to go. Okay, you have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So your indecision may lead to um, may lead to some arguing on the work front. Or it could lead to some arguing within a relationship because maybe that person wants you to have clarity. Um, and it could, for a few of you, it could have been possibly a third party situation where you're seeking justice or you're just trying to seek answers. Maybe you're... Um, Maybe you, su you are happy, but you suspect something, okay? It, it's kind of like, <laughs> I feel it's kind of like, uh, you know, you, your life is going so good right now that you're like, wait, it's going too good. What's going on? What are you hiding from me? So I feel like it might be that sort of thing. Let me just turn this. All right. Yeah, you guys are just in contemplation mode. Like, you guys are happy, and you're soaking things in, and there's good things coming in, and you're like, yeah, 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 I'll have this glass of wine, but hold on, let me just sit back, and let me really take a look at the situation and see what's really going on. Um, so it's like, you're taking this happiness and this abundance with a grain of salt, okay? And I feel like, deep down inside, you might feel like there's something else uh, that you may not fully be seeing going on, and something that may um, compromise your happiness. So let's see how this plays. All right, so you guys have a lot of cards of contemplation here. You guys are really just trying to figure something out right now. Okay. It's like you're happy, but you also... Like walking on eggshells in a sense. Not so much walking on eggshells, but just... Making sure it's not too good to be true. Okay. But here you come. It's like you're going to be loving regardless, but with that hermit card there, you guys are going to be wise too. And like I say in almost every video, um, you guys have incredible intuition. And I think that that's what helps me with Tyrell so much because I have uh, my Pisces rising. Okay. All right. So there's something that you're questioning. There's something that you want answers to. And what you find out may lead to you feeling a little bit dramatic, you know, I always call them Queen of Wands in the verse of Mariah Carey card when she's having a meltdown. So it's like that, that diva attitude of just being really upset, finding out something that you don't want, and just like throwing a tantrum because of it. All right? Or you could be dealing with um, a fire energy that comes that way. But it's like you're working through something, and you do find the clarity that you've been looking for. But with the clarity that you've been looking for with the moon card in the verse here, um, you know, it puts you here. Where you're, you're, you're feeling like a little bit unsettled within yourself. Okay. So let's see what's happening in your future. We've got the Three of Cups in the reverse. Three of Cups in the reverse could mean a lot of things. So let me clarify it and see what's going on. Okay. Right, you have the Three of Cups clarified by the Star card and the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Alright, so there's going to be a situation, possibly a third party situation that you're finding about. But with the Star card there, I don't know if it's coming from you guys or from um, the other person that you may be dealing with. Because I do see arguments here. You know, with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, it's all about... Uh, you know, two people or a situation where people are purposely saying hurtful things. You know, they just want to get that last word in. 
But I want to know why the star card is there because I don't know why anybody would wish for that sort of thing. The hermit card in the reverse. So you know what? Maybe this wish that you're getting here because you got the hermit in the reverse. So now the hermit went from upright to the reversal. What that means is that he was looking for answers and now he has his answers. And maybe this is what you were wishing for. You were wishing for clarity in a situation. And what you find out, again, is going to cause some issues. All right? Could be regarding a fire sign. Even an air sign, but toss signs to the side for a second. There's something that you've been wanting, you've been wanting, you've been wanting. It's kind of like the careful what you wish for. Okay? And, you know, if you look for it, you might just find it. So it's like, I think you guys were looking and looking and you found it. That's why this wish fulfillment is here. So it's like, how are you going to go on with this information that you found out? Because somebody's getting caught red-handed. Whether it be you or somebody else, someone's getting caught up. This information is out of the bag. Okay. And it throws you off your game, guys. And you feel like there's a lot of shit you got to deal with. Um, you know, there's unfinished business in the situation. There's conversations that need to be had. Okay? Alright, the last card you guys have is the Four of Cups. Alright? So after this clarity, after someone's getting caught, there's going to be an offer that is either given to you or that you are giving to someone else that will be accepted. Now let's see what that offer is going to be. Okay, let me get one more card. This is interesting. So you're offered something or you're, you accept something. But I feel, at least for some of you, you accept the fact that whatever situation you're in may not work because of this information that came to light. And because of that, it's putting you in limbo. Like, oh shit. You know, I wanted all this information. I got this information. Now what do I do? Like, I feel like I might have to walk away from this, but shit. I didn't want that to happen. I didn't want this to be the outcome. But it might be what's best. Okay? The Sun card is all about, um, you know, good things coming into your life. But it's also about, you know, putting light on the situation. You know, illumination. Seeing um, seeing things for what they are. Being, in, you know, being clear about what's going on. Let me just get one more card. Okay? So something's going to be accepted, but it's just like... <laughs> You have the Four of Cups in the reverse, or maybe you do accept something, but maybe you go back on that. Maybe you're not sure if you should have accepted it. Or maybe you choose to move on from the situation, and then the other person involved, or whoever got caught up, um, you know, they try to change your mind. And it's like you're kind of just looking at it, and you're not sure if you want to. So maybe you accept the fact that you need to move on, you're in limbo about it, you know, lights illuminated you know, the entire situation, and it might be the person that you're talking to, who's trying to offer you, um, you know, an alternative, and you're just like, you're just looking at them, and you're not sure which one you want to do, yeah, an offer of love, okay, I'm going to pull one more card, because I just want to see how this is going to play out for you guys, I don't want to leave you guys in limbo, but whatever this is, it's going to, uh, you're going to be in your heads about it, all right? You're going to have a new start, guys. I'm going to leave it here because for a lot of you, it's going to be different. I don't know if that new start is going to involve you walking away from the situation or starting on your own or, you know, um, seeing past any sort of secrets that came out and, you know, building and trying to get past it. But, you know, the decision you make is yours. You guys are going to have all the clarity you need. So I'm going to pull an Earth Magic Oracle card just to give you guys some extra guidance for this month and how you should go about, you know, the situation. Give me some guidance for Pisces, July 15th to August 15th. Advice for Pisces, July 15th. 
Okay, guys. You got the card nurturing. All right? Gaia nurturing. All right. So let's see what this says. Earth Mother, Mother Goddess, Great Goddess Terra Mater, and Gaia. In the Greek pantheon, this magnificent being was Earth personified as a goddess, daughter of chaos. She was the mother and wife of Uranus. It is her body that we walk upon every day, and the substance of our own bodies is the substance of hers. It's from Gaia that we receive everything from everything we need from survival. She provides for us abundantly, nurturing our body, mind, and soul. She nurtures our bodies by offering fruit of the trees, the greens from the earth, and the air that we breathe. She nurtures our mind through her awesome physical and dynamic beauty, and as depicted in this card, by the amazing colorfulness and diversity of the world she's constantly creating and recreating. She nurtures our souls by caressing us with her blessings each day and challenging us to be better humans through her response to our intentions and intentions. Receiving can be a sacred act if your intention is to honor spirit. It is as holy as giving when performed with a humble and open heart. This is even truer when receiving much needed nurturing, so let others give to you. It may be a stretch to do so at times because of childhood conditioning, but that habit can be overcome. Your wounds can be healed. One way to achieve this is to nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. Consider the actions you take that are self-nurturing. What comes to your mind when you really think about doing beneficial things for yourself? Set aside your ritualized habits and beliefs that restrict the pure act of allowing your body, heart, and soul to be nurtured. Lie on the earth and ask Gaia to rock you in her bosom as you breathe with her and relax into her loving care. Okay. Now, uh, you know, something that I've realized about any Pisces that I have in my life is that when I'm with them, there's a certain peace, there's a certain uh, serenity that I just feel because everything is just like the vibe is always so chill. And I've noticed that, you know, you guys are very, very giving and you want to make sure that everyone around you is good. Every Pisces I know is the same way. You know, they're just so nurturing. So I think right, to, uh, right now, especially since I feel like you guys um, are seeing something that it's, you're going to have to make a decision. Do I stay or do I go? with this information that was just revealed to me is this something that's good for me and you might need help okay you might need advice you might need help you might need guidance so right now i think it's time to step back from that nurturing person that you are and kind of let other people help you know let other people help you let other people give you advice let other people nurture you for once okay so make sure that this is a time that you guys are taking care of yourselves you know go for a hike if you need to go for you know a longest walk go for a swim whatever it is that you guys have to do just go for it all right and don't be afraid to kind of take a step back and tell everybody, like, you know what? I need some time to myself. I need time to make this decision because you're entitled to that. All right, so you guys take the time that you need, and I really do hope that it works out well for you. So I'm wishing you guys the best of luck, and if you do want a personal reading to get more information on what's going on specifically with you, I am happy to help, and I will leave everything in the description. Take care, guys.